Max, and today we are going to be starting a tiny makeover series, something that a lot of people do, which is fantastic. I love seeing other people do it, but I wanted to do it. It sounds fun, and honestly, I had a really chill and good time with these guys. Like, it's one of the lowest stress I kind of felt anything in this game. Like, I'm trying to build a house right now, and I am procrastinating by talking about this because I don't want to build a house because everything I do is ugly, but anyway. So... I am starting with Willow Crake and we're starting with the BFF household because I saw a makeover of them and I was like, okay, I want to do one now. And like, you know, they're in Willow Creek so it's like works out. But the BFF household is supposed to be a love triangle between a generic blonde boy and his two roommates, but he's too generic for that. Uh, and Summer and Liberty do not seem like the type to fight over a man. Like, I just can't see it at all. It, it's also worth noting that they are based off uh, the My Sims game, which I don't know anything about, but I just looked up the wiki because I'm trying to sound smart. Um, and they honestly were, like, cute in the My Sims game, but they did translate over to having really, really bad outfits in The Sims, like Liberty's especially. Her outfit was really, really bad, and I kind of changed everything about it, other than the fact that I made her whole outfit purple, and she had a purple shirt. So I guess the purple shirt stayed, but it's not the same type of purple, and it's not even close to as ugly as the purple shirt was. Anyway, we're gonna be starting by talking about Travis Scott. Um, he is boring, and I don't know anything about him, and I don't- I don't know, he just doesn't got much going on. I mean, he doesn't seem like the type to, like, want girls to fight over him. He doesn't even seem like the type to know girls are fighting over him. And as I said, like, nobody in this household feels like they would be part of a love triangle. Like, Summer and Liberty, they're, like, nice people, and they're not- none of them are, like, they don't have any, like, jealousy or beef or anything. They're- as it- as the household states, they're BFFs, all of them. It's, like, it doesn't make sense to me how they would be in a love triangle, but anyway. He doesn't seem like the type to be in the position he's in, so I'm- I'm confused by him. I, I did like his makeover anyway. I started with him and it was so easy and it just like, I feel like he turned out really good. Again, don't know anything about him. He's a tech guru and he seems like a chill dude. Um, the My Sims Travis, his, his shirt looks like the British flag, so, um, I always thought he was like Scottish because his last name's Scott, it's duh, but the flag is like very British, or the shirt, but I don't know, I'm confused by him in so many different ways, but. So we are now on to Miss Girl Liberty Lee. She is meant to be like very geeky and quirky. I don't really like that word, but it definitely seems what like what the game was going for. Uh, she needed so much help, like her, they just did her so dirty, so dirty. She's an astronaut, which I actually didn't know before, and it's kind of surprising because I just know I never thought about any of their careers. Uh, Travis being a tech guru makes sense, but Liberty being an astronaut and Summer being a chef, is like really random to me and I didn't well not random I just didn't know that at all I do like like the concept of her I think that uh, a geeky astronaut that's like a roommate with her best friends like that's that's kind of cool and I I think that her makeover like I used to not really like her just because they did her so dirty but after her makeover it's like she's cool like I don't know I don't have any problems with her. <laughs> she just was done so dirty. She was actually so cute in the My Sims game too. Like out of the three of them, she was the cutest and they just, I don't know how they messed up so badly, but it, it really feels like they messed up um, uh, in, mo in more ways than one because in the My Sims game, Liberty actually, Liberty hated like studious things. I don't know much about the My Sims game or how it works, so I don't really know how you knew that or what that means, but she, she apparently didn't like being studious, but she's a bookworm in The Sims, and I don't know, I don't, I don't get it. There's also a version her, of her in trailers, which I didn't know while I was making The Sim, but I think I would have kept the brown hair regardless, um, that she had pink hair in, in some of the like early Sims 4 trailers. Do with that what you will, I guess. I could have gone pink, but honestly, I do think the brown hair suits her. I like the brown hair, and they're really pretty. I love her outfit that I gave her. I think it still gave the energy they wanted, but it was so much less ugly. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, I think I did an okay job, but I, I don't know. I think I did an okay job at these makeovers. I feel like I'm least confident in summers, which we're getting to pretty soon, because I changed her, I changed her eyes a little bit, and you can tell that I did because you know what summer holiday looks like. 
you know her eyes are the size of the moon and I I did have to shrink them and I felt like maybe I changed her too much but I don't think I changed her that much at the same time so just let me know but I also made her outfit pretty um, light blue instead of dark blue I don't know why it's a habit of mine whenever I hear blue to go light blue I don't like light blue as much I like dark blue more I don't know why I do that but um, I think I just really like the outfit I gave her but there weren't any dark blue swatches so I just went all light blue because they matched and it was just perfect. So, so doing her makeover was quite scary but exciting just because I I knew she had potential but like eyes kind of made me want to run away. Uh, and in the game she's a chef which as I said it, it is so random to me um, especially because again in the original My Sims game she didn't like to cook or she didn't like food. I don't know how the game works again but she didn't like um, food or like care about it I guess. So it's interesting that they made her a chef. Um, maybe it was meant to be more of a mixology standpoint, but it doesn't say she doesn't really have any qualities that makes me think that she would be a mixologist and she has equal cooking and mixology skills in game. So I just maybe she's stuck in a job that she didn't want that's like a thing that a lot of people that is like a common situation with people, but there's no nothing suggesting that really in the game the only thing the game talks about is the love triangle which again don't really understand uh summer is really preppy and girly and cheery and friendly and i like that for her she looks like a cheerleader in my sims i really like who she is but i also think she really suits a more masculine style i think that even though she's like girly in her original i do think part of her really suits like super mask i feel like she looks either so good being super mask or super femme i i went with super femme because that's what she was in the original and i figured that was what i should have gone for so i i have some head cannons i guess for them i I just, I don't believe what the game fed to us about the love triangle. I don't actually think they're in a love triangle. I think they're, it's an identity crisis situation because nothing makes sense. None of it makes sense. Summer and Liberty seem like such girls girls. Liberty in an awkward way and Summer in a like summery way. I don't know. Um, even if they did like Travis, which I'm, I'm not even sure about, they wouldn't act on it because they're besties. Like, they're not going to do anything to hurt each other. They're not going to do anything to get with Travis if it ruins any friendships. Like, they all just seem like good, nice people who wouldn't do that. I don't know. I just, I feel like they're not problematic enough for the storyline. <laughs> um, but to me, I don't see the attraction at all. I don't think they're actually attracted to Travis. Nothing against Travis, but he, I don't think he needs them to be attracted to him in any way. I don't think he really cares. He's really chill. I, I think that if they were flirting, he would be oblivious and he also wouldn't want to hurt feelings. So it just, I don't think it, it would work out at all, the love triangle situation. So I don't see them doing anything to act upon anything. And I do, I do question whether there's any interest in Travis at all. No hard feelings to him. But there was this lady on Twitter who made Summer look like Nancy Landgrab, like literally made her look like Nancy Landgrab. And they tweeted like, you could never take straight Summer away from me. And now I can't see her as anything other than a lesbian. So she is one in my head. Liberty, I'm not so sure about. She might be interested in Travis, but I more see her as maybe being sapphic or arrowways. I, I just, I don't know. I don't see it. And I don't think Travis, I do see Travis as being straight, but I don't think he's interested in his roommate. I don't know. I just, I feel like they're trying to put drama into it, but they just didn't think it through. But that is my makeovers of the first household in the entire game. I really hope that you like them and I really hope that you are excited to see all my other makeovers because especially like the base game townies, I have a lot of thoughts on. I'm really excited to talk about Pancake's household and the goth household just because I love them so much and I, I never played with townies, but I, I, I like them as entities, I guess. <laughs> that's a weird thing to say. That's not really what I mean, but I don't know what else to say. So I am really excited to get into doing some other townie makeovers, but um, yeah, let me know how you like them. I'm going to be doing a little comparison before and after. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.